Everything depends on everything else. Haida people have always understood the importance of interconnectedness between humans and healthy, balanced marine ecosystems. Eelgrass beds are a nursery for young rockfish, salmon, halibut, octopus, gooey duck, and so many more of the ocean's creatures. People and animals on Haida Gwaii continue to rely on these species as important food sources. The recent arrival of the European green crab to Haida Gwaii, however, poses a threat to this balance. Since 2007, we've been monitoring for aquatic invasive species such as tunicates, and in 2017, monitoring for the European green crab started in partnership with MAP, Province of British Columbia, Council of the Nation, DFO, and Guayanas Haida Heritage Site. MAP stands for Marine Plan Partnership, and in our particular subregion uh, around Haida Gwaii, it's an agreement between the Council of the Haida Nation and the province of British Columbia. And it is through this uh, agreement that the Haida Gwaii Marine Plan was completed. So as part of implementation of the Haida Gwaii Marine Plan, we have a series of priorities, and one of those deals with uh, invasive species and what we can do to uh, deal with them when they're here and avoid getting them here. And unfortunately, this summer, this past summer, 2020, we found green crabs in Skidigit Inlet here. Green crabs are particularly a nasty critter. They really uh, take over any uh, ecosystem they become part of. They uh, will uh, demolish eelgrass beds and also, uh, over time, outcompete other species. The eelgrass beds, of course, are habitat for young salmon, um, young rockfish, and of course, people harvest eelgrass as well. We have many creeks here in this inlet where we have spawning salmon. And when the salmon come out of the creeks as juvenile, they like lingering in the estuary system, adapting their body to the ocean environment, where they're getting tons of food from the eelgrass. One of the main reasons why we've been monitoring for green crab is that it has a big effect on the environment. And we're gonna see those impacts in the next couple years if we don't control them. Right now we're trapping them, trying to identify where they are and then that will be able to inform our plan for the future. I would suggest if you are a community member, you want to be proactive and get involved, get, get the idea of them down. The way I identify a green crab, uh, probably the easiest way and most identifiable way is on each side of their eyes. They have these five pointy little spikes um, very distinct when you eventually compare them to native crab. The green crab part of it is kind of misleading because sometimes they're not totally green. They, they can be kind of mottled brownish, different colors, but the, the five points are the important parts. If you get those mastered, you'll be able to figure out what green crab from native crab in no time. We appreciate the community's interest and um, participation in this program. So if you happen to find a crab you think is a European green crab, please send a photo of it to invasives at hydanation.com. Just take a uh, location and send that with your photo. And one of our um, participating partners will respond as soon as we can. If you're confident, kill it and then um, take it out of the ecosystem. However, we ask you to not harm it if you're unsure because it could be one of our native species and we don't want uh, the public harming native species. At this point, we believe we're still at the early stages of their 
uh, introduction to Haida Gwaii. So we feel like we have a really good chance of minimizing their impact. This is our back door, right? Like this is literally our playground. This is our community. This is where we live. So it's not like it's a far off adventure to go get these things. So I'm hopeful that our community can come together and work together collaboratively. Um, you know, I'll take anybody out that's interested, whether they're kids, elders, whoever. Anu, Anu, Eelgrass, Skynan, Skynan, Lingcod, Taiyi, Taiyi, Coho Salmon, Chitan, Chitan, Pink Salmon, Tawan, Tawan, Spring Salmon, Skoga, Skogi, Chum Salmon, Squagan, Squagan, Sockeye Salmon. Hagu, Hagu, Halibut. Nu, No, Octopus. Gin Wadluan, Good Ash Quaggy Dung. Gin at Wadluan, Good at Quaggit. Everything depends on everything else.